Hi, this is Asain. Today, I would like to share how to evaluate limits using Lopitas rules with some examples. Sometimes, we might not be able to evaluate a limit using factorization of conjugate. For example, this. Okay, so for this case, we can think of the Lopita rule. However, when we apply the Lopita's rule, we must first check whether this function will give us indeterminate form or not. Okay, now we check. If let's say we substitute 0 to this function, the numerator will result as 0 and also the denominator. So this will give us 0 over 0. And this is called indeterminate form because we cannot give an exact value for 0 over 0. Okay, other possible indeterminate form include 0 times infinity, 1 power infinity, 0 power 0, infinity power 0, infinity minus infinity. Okay, these are all called indeterminate form. If we encounter this, then we can apply Lopita rule. Okay, let's try for this example. Okay, according to Lopita rule, okay, the limit for x approaches a for the function fx over gx is exactly equal to the limit for x approaches a for the derivative. Okay, for the derivatives. Okay, now we can try for this question. Okay, so means that for this example, since this is indeterminate form, then we can apply the Lopita rule. x opposed to 0. So when we differentiate x, it will give us 1. And then when we differentiate sign, it will give us cos. So 1 over cos 0. So this will give us 1 because cos cos 0 is 1. So 1 over 1 is 1. 